Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about how you can use this ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi jammer or T-Author in order to perform attacks. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the relevant links will be in the description below. So yeah, in this video, we'll be discussing about like how you can use this uh, tool or like device or jammer or deauthor, whatever you can call to perform the attacks. So the first thing, and also I'll be answering few questions that few few good questions that the community guys had raised. So let's see. And also before that, like uh, you can access this uh, like uh, page. Like I already connected my deauthor to my power source, and also I navigated this is 192.168.4.1, and just click on uh, what you say. Uh, simply like uh, I have understood it's like a disclaimer and also disclaimer so don't use this for like illegal purposes so use it ethically so like for testing purpose or whatever it is so and I am not reason uh, like not responsible for any illegal activities that you are going to do and uh, yeah there are few questions as well so we'll discuss about that but before that let's see what type of attacks that we can proceed like you can uh, like uh, you have like few uh, networks here so you can uh, select any network okay so and if you go to the attack Okay, you can see when you select an attack, uh, when you select a target, right, it will be showing in the target. So I'll show you. So this is an issue you may get, but if I go to like attack, you can see it is going to go away. But if I go to scan and if I go into select like this, you can see it is going to be selected. So now you have like few attacks, like deauthentication attack in the sense like you will disconnect all the clients. So probe in the sense like uh, you are going to, like you can see, Clients like beacon packets are used to advertise access points. Like uh, you'll create like so many access points with that name. Okay, you can specifically uh, like network names under the SSIDs. Like you'll create like fake so many fake access points like Wi-Fi name sort of thing. And probe requests are like uh, like if the if, uh, ask if no network is nearby. Like it gives you like sort of notification sort of thing. Use this attack to confuse Wi-Fi trackers by asking for networks that's specified in the SSID list it's unlikely you will see the, any impact by this attack with your home network okay so you'll be getting like some sort of nearby request sort of thing but this is not much useful uh, only this beacon and deauth are like pretty useful so let's start the deauth attack i'm doing it on my home network only so it is going to take some time okay so it is going to take some time and uh, i'm having my phone here so mobile phone which is connected to the wi-fi so let's see what happens uh it's loading like the attack is running as of now uh, you can see how many packets it had sent like i'm not able to connect like uh, i'm just clicking on this and it is not going up so i'm not able to connect so do the attack is working fine <laughs> sorry and let's do the beacon attack so so now after I stop this deauth attack, so I can see like you can see never gonna desert you. So I'll show you the name as well. So you can see, uh, let's wait, uh, more Wi-Fi settings, maybe show all available networks. Uh, maybe this is not showing up, but, uh, like you can see, there are so many networks with the name. I possible I'll put the screenshot. So it is saying a name, like never gonna, uh, never gonna desert you. Never gonna give you up. Like it's like some sort of meme we all guys know so that is how it is showing up but you can always uh, change it okay so i'll stop i'm going to stop it so that is how you basically do it so coming to the questions okay so the first question is like whether it, this this can be called a jammer or a deauthor so yeah it is like uh, uh like some sort of like you should call deauthor to be honest but like uh, if i make video mentioning as like make a wi-fi d uh ja deauthor right so most people won't understand so it won't reach much most, most people and also i've seen few people made same similar videos with the name jammer because it's like catchy like uh you can do that it's fine you can call jammer or you can call d author it's fine okay it's pretty fine and one more question in the sense like uh, one more question is like whether the esp uh, esp8266 module only supports a single band or dual band wi-fi so it depends guys like uh, when i i bought this module like two or three years back so hence like this only supports 2.4 gigahertz but there are few modules nowadays like it even supports 5 gigahertz so like go through the description and buy it thoroughly buy it properly so that it supports uh, 5 gigahertz as well so and coming to this tool so yeah one more thing one person asked is like uh, if i connect to this thing uh, like uh, 
how to connect like it should be in the range so like how to connect in the sense like if you uh, connect this esp8266 to a power source so it will be emitting a uh, a wi-fi network right so you should be in a range uh, you should be uh, in a range so that you can connect to that network and then you can perform this attack and also you can perform the same attack on mobile as well from mobile as well like you can navigate to this 192.168.4.1 your uh, ip and you'll get the same thing and you can do it from there as well and one drawback that i saw with this uh framework or like this code is like uh this uh, code firmware or whatever it is like is like if you uh, do this sort of deauth attack or uh, deauth attack on like big networks like uh, a network which has like uh, more than 500 sort of stuff so it fails sometime so it goes like it gets hanged so that is what i've seen but i guess like mostly most of the attacks that we may do is like for home or like home network sort of stuff mostly internal network so it won't be much deal but if you go to a public wi-fi right so there may be like so many devices connected so it, in those cases it failed for me but uh, try it out like you can create like a fake network fake network uh, thing and you can do that so that is it guys like how you can use this tool so uh, just if you go to the scan you can find out all the targets like you can select anyone if you want to uh, if you go to the ssids uh, you can see uh, you can see yeah, never gonna give you for the beacon attack so these are all the stuff so you can uh, name like you can delete it you can give whatever you want okay in the attack section you can see all the types of attacks so this is not like a complex thing to do so simple pretty simple so add a target like you can add multiple targets as well but it depends guys like if the uh, clients connected are like more like this esp8266 tend to fail sometime i even gone through some like uh, modules like forums as well and even they uh, even some of the people told the same so that is it guys like how you can basically use this esp8266 this is going to be short video like uh, this is for this video is for few people like who don't know how to do okay so may, there may be beginners like all may not be like pros right so that's the reason i made this video so if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff and also we are on road to 10,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet so what are you doing just to subscribe it so uh, before subscribing like try to watch other videos as well if you feel my channel is useful for you then do subscribe uh that's it thank you bye